talk about what? Well, okay. It's good that you can understand this at least. It's not necessarily what I expected, but that's good. Hi. Um, as I said, I'm Cole. I'm a Red Steve. And I wanted to talk to you about some problems that we've been having at the at the Winter Steve Village. So, I, I, this, I did not, not expect this. Um, I am Bramir, the giant. I can I can see that. It's nice to meet you. I uh, I heard you've had a lot of dealings with the Winter Steves. That's why they thought bringing me into the mix might actually make this conversation a little bit easier. Because, you know, you guys are not on the best of terms here. Especially not with, you know, the walls coming up and stuff. And I can see that you can see that as a bit of a bit of a problem. Yeah, I've had to deal with them. Well, they're rude. Well, they, they, that, that's a whole conversation that we're going to have to have after this. But... Just to speak plainly, the Winter Steve leader has has a bit of a problem, a bit of an illness that we cannot explain, and well, we think that the the giants, you guys have encountered this before. At least we think so. So, okay, and well, Winter Steve and I want to invite you to come into the Winter Steve village, and then we'll talk about. It. We can we can show you, and we can we can all. Go past it, and then we can even see about about how we can fix the relationship between giants and Winter Steves, if that's possible. No, they'll just destroy me. I'm, I'm, that's not, that's not our goal. That's not their goal. It's not my goal either. I'm not even a Winter Steve. I, to be fair, I don't even know. I don't fear you as much as they do. So I'm, I, but I guess I, I can understand where you're coming from. They, they brought in the Obsidian Steves and everything like that. My people might be a bit aggressive, go. Cool. Yeah, I, I seem to understand that now. No, their buildings are too small. I've got splinters. Um, that well, yeah, that is uh, <clears throat> that is that is true. Uh, you would probably, I guess, with the obsidian steves. If you're not speaking, if you're not feeling comfortable about about speaking in on our terms, I I don't think we should be out here and talking about it. This is this doesn't seem like an appropriate location either. If you have a place that you'd be willing to bring us. And we can talk about whatever this corruption is and what you guys can understand about it. We're more than happy to come to your place and they'll not eat us, Winter Steve. Hmm. Right? At least you won't eat us, right? That's not a thing. If you guys do, then I'm afraid that we're not going to come along. Or at least we're not going to come along, well, easily. Fine. But if I find out someone is following you, I'll destroy you. That, that's... That's uh, that's fair. We, we don't have anybody, anyone following us, right? I'll stomp on you. Uh-huh. Winter Steve, pretty, you didn't get anyone to follow us, right? Poof. Yeah, we, we really prefer that didn't happen. No? Okay, you better not be lying to me. If you have any Winter Steves back there, they have his reinforcements that I don't know about. Just make sure that they don't follow us. I swear, I didn't. Good, because that's... Trusting one another in such a simple matter is the first step to living together. And you guys have been living together in this area for too long at war. But... Right now, that conflict is not the main thing of, that worries me. So it will be have, have to be left behind right now. What are you small ones whispering about? Just We're just making sure that everybody understands what's happening here. Uh, on these horses, we can keep up with you. So if you lead the way, we'll follow you. Whatever. Follow me. All right, come on, Winter Steve. So you guys live underground, huh? I guess that makes a lot of sense. Yep. Sure, not the whole problem with uh, with lightning or with light and stuff. Gorm, Rindir, this is Cole, and with him, Winter Steve. Hi. Um, I think it's just fair if we step off the horses for now. Gorm, Rindir, nice to nice to meet you. Wait, you brought back a Winter Steve here? I mean, he is. He's not gonna hurt any of you. Hello, Brumir. Why are they here? We uh, we came to ask you guys for uh, for some uh, uh, some help. They've come here for our help. They are being diplomatic. We try to be. I try to be. Um, so, it's good to meet you all. Um, as as Brimir said, I am I'm Cole. This is Winter Steve. Oh, oh this is Winter Steve. I'm a I'm a Red Steve. I've been uh, the Winter Steves asked me if I could help them with a little problem they're having. So, well, here let me let me explain let me explain the situation. What problem? Well, um. A little while back. Why should we help them when they're the ones who attacked us? I mean, I, I'm not the one. I never went out of my way to do that. Winter Steve only did it out of self-defense. Because, well, you guys are large and intimidating. And you guys were attacking Winter Steve. So they just they just fought back. Right? That's, that's how that went. Right? Right, Winter Steve? 
You, you, it was just all self-defense. What do you mean? The Winter Thieves always attacked us first. Oh, that's a... <clears throat> that's a bit of a problem. Um, but that problem right now isn't... Isn't the main thing. We're gonna... We should talk about that afterwards. There is a little th thing that's a bit more pressuring right now for us. I understand that that might not be the case for you, but... We need to... We need to somehow resolve that. I agree. I say it's more than a bit of a problem. You're right. And you guys have... If that's true, you guys have all the right to have an open discussion about that. I can't apologize on my people's behalf, but... I want to fix this. See, Winter... Not all Winter Steves are bad. I think this is... But a mere misunderstanding. I am not the leader. No. And because he's not, we need to talk to you about something else. Ask you about something else. That is more important right now. We'll talk about an agreement that we could possibly make after this. We, we've been able to reach them with other Steves. I'm... You guys are smart. I see no reason why we wouldn't be able to make an agreement with you guys. Anyway, here it goes. The winter leader has some type of corruption around his eyes. Purple-like. And I think you guys might have seen it before. The Winter Leader, he got it right after we defeated the Giant, who stole the Heart of Winter from the Winter Steves. He had the same type of corruption, although a little bit more spread. You defeated him? We... we did. He stole the Heart of Winter and I went to go get it back. The Heart of Winter was property of the Giants, before the Winter Steves ever had possession of it. They stole it from us. Wait, what? That artifact belonged to us before the Winter Steves stole it. It's the essence of our creator. Oh, um, w uh, is that true, Winter Steve? Did they have it before you guys did? I did not know that. Selida never told me that. Winter Steve, that's, um, that might be something that we're gonna have to also talk about afterwards. Um, who, who the Heart of Winter belongs to isn't the point. Of course you wouldn't. S some leader you have. This is probably all a misunderstanding that we can work out but regardless you guys probably agree that the one corrupted giant wasn't the one who was supposed to hold it right he wasn't supposed to keep it he was not himself i'm assuming right so i'll tell you what happened to him the winter steves and the obsidian steves had problems before as well when i go went to go fix that relationship i eventually was sent into the diamond steve stronghold there i found your your friend the other giant the corrupted one who had the heart and I did battle with him in the in the tomb of some something, I'm not sure. But before the fight was concluded, I teleported him to the surface, where eventually, yes, we did defeat him. And in, in any way, we set him free of whatever corruption was taking hold of him. There wouldn't happen to have been a tomb with purple writing on it, where the first enemy might have been. He was mentioned, apparently the first enemy was created the Diamond Steve, and he was he was there. Yeah, that that is the tomb that I'm talking about. You guys are familiar with that? You guys are dealing with someone called Dread Steve. Luckily, he's been locked away for a long, long time. Um... Well, about that...